Hi, this is Mrs. Perry Ising from Deer Park High School making another tutorial for my multimedia class. This one is how to work with the text and the generator tool. So while Final Cut comes with a lot of different text choices uh, that you can use, we generally make our own uh, text in our class, not using one of the pre-made stock choices that Final Cut comes with. So what we want to do is we like want to, first of all, if you don't have it up, we want to take a look at the screen over here where I have these boxes that's called Title Safe. To get that, you're going to come in the top right-hand corner of the viewer, go to View, down on the bottom, go to Show Title Safe Action Safe Zones. You want that selected, and for our purposes in class, the outer box represents a high-definition television, like a 16.9 aspect ratio, and the inner box represents standard depth with a 4.3 aspect ratio. So the rule in our class is always to keep any text inside the inner box so that if somebody views it on an old tube TV or whatever, it the text doesn't get cut off over here that they're not seeing it. So now that I have my title safe zone on, I'm going to go ahead and I want to put a rectangle across the bottom here like you see on the news and I want to put text on top of that. So to get the rectangle, we're going to come up here to the top left hand side to our text tool right here. And we're going to go into where it says generators right here. And we want to go into where it says elements. And in there you'll see a tool for shape and the default there is a circle but we're gonna change that circle into a rectangle so I'm gonna take that circle and I'm gonna drag and drop it onto my timeline and where my playhead is it's a few seconds into my clip I usually like to have the playhead a few seconds in before the text comes on the screen so we're gonna drag and drop that onto track 2 above the clip of the woman and the first thing I want to do is tell you that for our class text always stays on for four seconds so before I do anything I'm gonna change this to four seconds So I'm gonna right click go to change duration and I'm going to type in 0400 zero, zero, zero for 4 seconds. And that 0400 zero, zero, zero means uh, 4 seconds and 0 frames. So now this is my shape is on for 4 seconds, but I have to turn it into a rectangle. So at this point, I'm going to come over to the top right hand side of the screen and I'm going to look at the inspector. So looking at uh, this choice right here, you're going to see that the shape is circle. We want to change that to rectangle. Uh, for fill, we like the fill color to be maroon because uh, maroon and gray are our school colors. So I'm going to change that to a, a maroonish looking color. And then for the next thing that's defaulted is outline. We don't want an outline on it. We're going to uncheck that so we have no outline. Another thing we like to do is we like to make that rectangle a little bit transparent. So we're going to come over into the next icon, which is the video inspector icon. And where it says composting and it says opacity, we usually make ours about 80%. So you can kind of see through it, see what's going on behind that box. Uh, you can either use the slider or I could click in here and just type in 80 and enter for 80%. Uh, next, what I'm going to want to do is I want to have this box go across the entire screen from left to right from the inside of the title safe for the inner box. So we're going to have it go from here to here. So to do that under transform, we're going to choose the X, meaning think of math class where the x-axis is horizontal and the y-axis is vertical so we'll think of x as x-axis like on a grid in algebra class so I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna drag that to the right and make my box about as big as my I make my rectangle about as big as my inner box and now you see there's a circle right here that's what I'm gonna click on to take it and I'm gonna move this down towards the bottom and I usually put it right on even or so with that inner in a box on my title safe so now I'm set up with a rectangle and I want to put the text with her name on top of that. So now I'm going to go back up to my text tool up here and I'm going to look under titles this time and I'm going to go to lower thirds. As you can see, this program comes with all sorts of choices that I can put in. You know, like for example, I could put in that as her uh, title, but I don't want to do that. I want to do my own thing. So with that being said, I want to go to basic lower thirds so I'm not using what comes with the program. I'm going to take that lower thirds and drag it and drop it up onto the third track on top of my shape and because my shape is on for four seconds I want my text to stay on for four seconds so I could either resize it this way in terms of time or I could right click again and go to change duration and again zero four zero zero four frames and zero seconds so now that my text matches the amount of time that my shape is on for I'm gonna go ahead and come up into the viewer and click in here and change my text so I'm gonna click and her name is Jeannie Kozlowski so Jeannie Kozlowski, and I'm not sure if I spelled it right. Of course, I would have had to ask her how to spell her name. And then her title at that time was uh, Assistant uh, Principal. She's since been promoted. Assistant Principal. And so now I want to do a couple of things. I want to, first of all, my 
get that text inside of the rectangle. So I'm going to put my cursor right over here on the edge and move my text and do the same thing for her title. And for the purposes of our class, we always keep the title of the person at least five points smaller than the name. Now we can go ahead and we can, you know, get funky with it. We could highlight all of that text in, in there where it says Jeannie Kozlowski. And I could play with my choices in my inspector over here to the right. So, for example, where it says all caps, I could put that on if I wanted to or take it off. Uh, you know, I could change the font if I wanted to and so forth. One of the things I like to do is I always like to scroll down a little bit and use that last one, uh, drop shadow. Uh, and, of course, if I um, hide it or show it, I can do that. I'm going to do the same thing with her title. And I'm going to put a drop shadow on that. And that's usually good enough for our classes. Sometimes we like to change that text to a gray color because our school colors are maroon and gray. So we would have the box at maroon and the text at gray. So that's what we can do. So that's the way we do the text for our class to review. We start out by going to the text tool. We go into generators. We go into elements and we choose shape. Once we have a shape on our timeline, we change it to four seconds. And once we do that, we come over into our inspector and we change it into a rectangle from a circle and we make the opacity 80% and we fill it with a color that we want. And for the text, we always make sure that our text stays inside the inner boxes where we have our title safe. And once we put the text in, we use uh, over here text titles. We go to lower thirds and uh, that's about it. So that's a little review of that. Okay, have fun editing.